Christmas, Happy New Year. Wish you could have been here. There we were. Feeling good. Uh, I'm here at Wonders of Wildlife Museum in Springfield, Missouri. Well, I've walked through this place several times and dreamed just like you all dream of someday killing a 200-inch whitetail. And I did that this year down in my nephew's place in Texas in Freer when we went down with the Victor boys and we made a lot of memories. I made special memories with that particular buck. So welcome to another Bob Folk Rides hunting adventure and dream with the best of us at Wonders of Wildlife. We're making memories now. Yes, we are. Yeah, down in Texas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to all. Victor Chevrolet, Bass Pro Shops, and Alamositos Ranch present Bob Folkrod's Hunting Adventures. Seven continents, 80 species, a five year quest in the making. High adventure, dangerous game. Real world training tips. This is Bob Fulgrod's Hunting Adventures. Bob Folkrod has been traveling to the Lone Star State to hunt big whitetails for almost as long as he can remember. The last several years, he's spent a couple of weeks hunting and guiding at his nephew, Jim Folkrod's place, just after Thanksgiving. The LJ Blessings Ranch is 1,000 acres of woolly South Texas brush country at its finest. It wasn't supposed to be a, a, a business. It was supposed to be a family ranch. And uh, we just kept spending money and kept making it better. And then when people said, you need to need to let other people come here and, and have fun. So now it's been, you know, 10 and a half years. This is our 11th hunting season. We're uh, eight miles north of Freer in South Texas uh, at the LJ Blessings Ranch. Uh, the L and the J, that's Leah and Jamie, my uh, two youngest girls. And uh, the other ranch was the, the Blessing. And we, I like to name the Blessing. And so we just made it plural after the grill. So LJ Blessings Ranch. Bob Folkrod has picked out an archery buck that he'd like to get a shot at with his Hoyt Defiant bow. Jim has cameras at every stand and he checks them daily, getting his deer used to the program, as he calls it. But the fact is, it works. And even though this is a thousand acres, it's not like shooting fish in a barrel. The deer still have to cooperate, show up in daylight hours, and present the hunter with a shot opportunity. And that's just the problem Bob is having on this hunt. Originally, Bob had his sights set on this big 13-point buck. The guys weren't expecting this bruiser to show up as well. The big boy won't give Bob the shot he's looking for. Jim has taken every step necessary for close shots at under 25 yards for the bow hunters. And his setups are better than any place Bob has hunted in his storied hunting career. He's had a big hand in helping his nephew set this place up for hunter success. And the bucks Jim is raising are really coming on strong too. Seems like everywhere you look, there are big bucks to be seen. This buck really has everything you can ask for in a mega buck. He's got height, width, mass, stickers, and a dark chocolate rack. Jim thinks he might just eclipse the magical mark of 200 inches. He gives his Uncle Bob the green light on him. Now Bob just has to keep his nerves under control and not look at those horns too closely. Everything happens for a reason in this life. And when one door closes, another one opens. Bob can't get the shot he's looking for on this giant. 
and it's killing him. The monster buck finally walks out of sight without giving Bob the shot he wanted. He didn't want to take a marginal shot on a buck of this caliber. Finally, the buck slips back in from the side of the blind and decides to wet his hawks and have a look around for any prospective ladies. It's just the opportunity Bob has been waiting on, and he makes it count. about the old satellite titans. They kind of, I don't know what they, uh, they didn't stay up with the times. I can make them fly and I still got enough to last me a lifetime. But the reason I use them is, see that blind right there? That's the blind. And right here is the buck. right there. He didn't go, well I'll tell you exactly how far he went. He dropped dead in less than 35 yards. <clears throat> There's the rifle blind right there. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Well, that's a buck right there. Look at that bad boy. That, that's an incredible buck. The color, the main beams, the splits, everything about that deer right there, that's as pretty as a deer gets. Yeah. I shot some good deer down here with Jim, but right there is my best deer I ever shot with Jim. Probably my biggest deer I ever shot, totally. <laughs> Texas. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, man. Oh, I'm telling you. Whew. That's a hog right there. <laughs> That's a hog. 
Now we're going to get some still pictures. We're going to do this near justice. After getting some great still pics, the guys take this monster buck to town, get an official tape on him. Jim explains the unique world of Texas deer hunting, more specifically around the little western town of Freer. 24 5. So we enter everybody in the, into the Muy Grande contest. So when you come and they've raised it, it used to be you got a hat for a 150 and a jacket for a 160. Now they've raised it to 170. But part of your hunt, we, we put um, everybody. Uh, has uh, an entry. You have to already be entered in order to, to qualify. You can have spread, you can have tines, you can have mass. There's all kinds of categories, but it's just another thing. Now we love it when uh, people are here and they get a, they win a jacket. 207 and 7 eighths. Bob has flirted with the 200 inch mark before, but this guy destroys that with a green score of 207 and 7 eighths. What a bruiser of a buck, Bob. Bob Folkron's Hunting Adventures is brought to you by these five sponsors. Vortex. Kinetrek. Kufaru. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. For everything Chevy, you need to visit Victor Chevrolet, the place where my family and I get our vehicles. With a large selection, dedicated employees, quick service, and amazing savings, I became the biggest fan of Victor Chevrolet. If you're looking for a reliable vehicle and service, look no further than my friends at Victor Chevrolet. 7200 Pittsburgh Victor Road or VictorChevrolet.com. Just check and see if there's room for the cup. Hi, I'm Paul Robisto from Victor Chevrolet, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The guys from Victor Chevrolet make it into camp right at dark after a long flight from New York. Everyone checks out the new hunter's cabin, game room before dinner. Jim's done a ton of work to this place since last year. Nice. The guys yeah. approve of the new digs. We're hoping we got a relaxed, comfortable uh, atmosphere, uh, plenty of opportunity to see good, mature um, South Texas deer, uh, good food, good atmosphere. Uh, we got multiple stands uh, to take people to. Uh, we've tried to provide pictures of deer. What is a guy looking for? A big 8, a 10, a 12? Uh, we don't have too many 14s, but uh, you know, what are they looking for? That tall, wide, you know, so we're trying to, you know, have it where people could come in and have an opportunity for most people, uh, opportunity of a lifetime. This is the second year Ed Woodruff has made the pilgrimage from New York to Texas. He's in the blind with Jim on the first morning of the hunt. The guys don't have a lot of action, but Ed likes what this buck has going on. We're watching a little buck buck, and all of a sudden, a giant came in. We try to set it up for success. We, uh, they're not overpressured, so a guy can make a mistake and normally get away with it. It's supposed to just be the, the total package of having fun, and enjoying yourself and have an opportunity to be successful. It's hard to ignore that inner voice telling you not to pass a deer on the first day, that you'd gladly shoot on the last day. But when the buck looks like this, you ignore that voice. The new Hoyt is dead on the mark. Life changes in, in a hurry, doesn't it? That's a nice buck. <laughs> Was it, was it any good? That's awesome. That's what it's all about. The whole hunt changed in about 30 seconds. About 30 seconds. That's all it takes. That's 
Well, congratulations, man. I'll that's tell you a, what, that's a definitely a character deer. That's why I, I mean, wanted, man. I love and that's a, I mean, I'm sure that's a jacket deer, too. So, that's good awesome. deal. Thank congratulations, you, man. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Well, somebody had to get it started, get the party started. You you had to wait till the end last year, and this year it appears that you're the one that got, got things started. It might be the guide, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, good deal, That's man. Awesome. We're gonna wait on him a bit, though. That's right. Let it soak in. Thank you. Great, That's awesome. Great deer, great job. We got him. That's Ed's buck. The tracking job is very short. Well, I'm here hunting with Jim and. Sitting in the blind. It was a little slow start this morning, but it was a beautiful morning. And uh, eventually this bad boy came in and the junk over there. That's the first thing. I'm gonna zoom in on that just a little bit because that's what that's what got you all excited yeah. to, to begin with. Yeah, I'm so. a sucker for uh, junk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that because I can appreciate it very much. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, that was a great time. Always is here. The Hoyt did a great job. My first kill with a new bow, and I don't think the deer went 50 yards. He's gonna look good on the wall, I know that. Sure is. What else can you say? He's a sucker for junk. Ed later connected on a big doe, and a nice bobcat for an awesome memory-making experience in the Lone Star State. Transportation for all of Bob Folkrod's hunting adventures is provided by Victor Chevrolet. Check him out at VictorChevrolet.com. try to keep it to no more than six people. Four works out real well because that's going to give people the opportunity to, to hunt all over the ranch if they're just looking to see different scenery, if they're not just looking for that one deer. Um, and we're trying to, you know, again, it's about trying to keep everybody happy. Um, we want them to have a, a large time. Uh, we're not about just pushing people through here. We like to think that people come here and start becoming extended family. Uh, repeat people that you're enjoying is what it's about. They're enjoying what we're providing. We're enjoying them being here. That's, the, that's as good as it gets as far as I'm concerned. After taking a really nice buck, Brian Christie is in the archery blind with guide Sam, and he's looking to punch a doe tag. The Victor Chevy guys brought coolers on the plane with them so they'd be able to take the tasty Texas venison back to New York with them. It's always a blast to watch big bucks at close range, and Jim has some dandies. Jim has placed all the feeders at 20 yards from the archery towers, but Brian has to check for himself. He's wanting to shoot the mature doe on the far side of the feeder. There's the shot, and Guide Sam has her on camera. One of the cool things about hunting at Jim's place is that everyone hunts with a guide. And all the guides run cameras during the hunt. It's super beneficial for looking at the hit, which direction the deer ran off, and so on. 
but it also helps make for great memories of the time spent at LJ Blessings. <laughs> Sam and I just pulled off the coolest hunt probably of my life. Nice job, buddy. Up we just shot a beautiful South Texas doe on uh, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen, LJ Blessings Ranch, and we shot her over the top of a beautiful young, probably three and a half year old, 165 inch buck. At least, he's got to be 160s. He was a mega giant. He was the first deer we saw, and uh, a doe showed up, a nice big doe, and that's what we're after tonight because we tagged out on the first day. I did, and uh, so I just had this harebrained idea. I said, Sam, let's try to kill her while he's in the camera frame. So. Lo and behold, just I'm just getting ready to draw on her about 20 minutes ago. She was at 23 steps, and uh, he started chasing her. He chased her away. He chased her back like four different times, and we couldn't get a shot. So finally, she comes back, and uh, Doe and two yearlings came in, and just kind of, I think it made her settle down, and it made him settle down a little bit. Well, he came in, and we waited for the perfect shot, and waited for him to be in the camera frame, and... Uh, Man, we 10 ringed her, and uh, well, I call it 12 ring, but there's no such thing, I'm told. But we paint a perfect shot, heart shot. We heard her go down in the brush, and uh, and we're gonna go recover her, man. So awesome, awesome hunt, awesome ranch, beautiful day, and uh, I'm tagged out in Texas, man. We got us a, <laughs> we got us a big old eight point on Wednesday. We shot us a big beautiful bobcat last night with the bow, and. Uh, and we ended it on a great uh, doe harvest tonight. Congratulations. Right, let's go get him, buddy. Let's go get him. <laughs> yeah. Good shot. Smoke, baby. Good shot. LJ Blessings Ranch. LJ Blessings Ranch, baby. <laughs> Look your hunt. It's, it'll change your life. It's fun. So I'm telling you, from New York, we're, I'm from New York. We're down here with six. We had six great guys down here. We've all had a blast. And, uh, what a great night in the blind. Memories, man. It's been fun. Deer meat for the freezer and helping do a little predator management, too. Congratulations, Brian. This segment has been brought to you by the Victor Chevrolet Deal of the Week. Check them out at VictorChevrolet.com. Chevrolet.com. Buy new roads. Looking for a new or used vehicle? Check out my friends at Victor Chevrolet. You'll be totally satisfied. That's where I get all my vehicles. Together is about a little kitchen table and a little elbow grease. Together is about a shelf in the back of Dad's shop. Together is about family. And it's about all the memories that lie ahead. Start your adventure with the experience, selection, and wonder you can only find at Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. We got deer right outside the front door. I, I feed in front of that all the time and people are amazed. They're like, well, the house and the lodge are right there. Well, the deer don't know any difference. They, they grew up here with that. But we'll have uh, the, the, the best blind we got is the house blind. Out the, 
upstairs window <laughs> for seeing the deer and occasionally for shooting a deer. So that, that's pretty unusual, I would say. Rick Milham, one of the owners at Victor Chevrolet, is a diehard bow hunter of over 40 years. He's in the blind with the guide George this morning, and it snowed overnight in South Texas. Many of these deer have never seen the white stuff fly, but it's not bothering the hunters from New York. The guys take in the morning until this big guy on the hit list strolls in. Rick smokes him with a perfect shot from his Hoyt Defiant. And the buck only goes 20 yards. Woo! They told me I thought it comes down. You didn't go far at all. You got the opposite shoulder. Everyone was watching the action from the house and quickly come over to congratulate Rick on a dandy buck. Okay, your action. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see the story. Um, Blake and I were making a hell of a lot of noise in the blind, and you were rattling, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. And uh, nine o'clock, I see some, I see him coming in over here. He was taking his time coming in, and uh, I actually didn't think he was gonna make it all the way in. I thought he was just cruising the plot. Wound up proving me wrong. Came in, settled in, uh, debated whether I. I wanted to wait for the other one, but um, uh, the uh, weather got the better of me. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's just a wonderful, wonderful experience here. This place is incredible. Thank you, Jim and Dorcas. South Texas. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's a that sucker's got mass, got character, got got everything. Yeah. Good Thanks. deal. All righty. Bob's telling me it was low. Oh, gosh. Gosh dang, gosh, that's dang. a low shot. Oh, gosh dang. Really? He got me all rattled. <laughs> I almost threw up my celebratory shot. <laughs> hey, say, say that for Bob up in the video. Hey, oh, yeah. gosh dang, that's a low shot. <laughs> no ground shrinkage here. All loaded up in the buggy before breakfast. Nice shooting, Rick. Man, Gary would be happy for you. Yeah, I think you, I know he I will. For help with all of your hunt booking needs, contact J&M Safaris at jmsafaris.com. After your successful hunt of a lifetime, contact Wes Good at kanadistudio.com for the finest taxidermy in the business. Be sure to follow Bob and all his adventures at bobfolkrod.com slash TV and facebook.com slash bfolkrod and don't forget to hit the like button.